This is Eugene Panrikovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Acer C720 and C720 Chromebook model, and I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard assembly, the battery, and the motherboard for both the C720 and the C740 Chromebook models. Okay, so this particular one is actually C720, and the C740 is almost identical to it. The parts are almost identical, so the procedure is the same. There are some differences, and I'll point out those differences as we go along. So the first thing before we start is we want to make sure that the laptop is off. Every time you open and close uh, the Chromebook, it turns on, so you just press, long press the power button to turn it off. Next, uh, we flip the Chromebook over, and on the bottom there will be 12 screws, uh, three rows of four screws each, and you have to remove these screws. I already removed these screws to make the video shorter, and I'll quickly show you the tools that I'm going to use. So we have a metal spudger tool to pry things open. We have a X-Acto knife, or a hobby knife, it's also, we're going to use it for prying and lifting up adhesive tape a PH1 electronic screwdriver and that's to remove these 12 screws from the bottom and a pair, pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables. So once we remove the screws we want to pry the bottom cover off. Um, one way to do this is to stand the laptop on its side and you want to get into the seam between the bottom cover and the keyboard assembly so what we want to do, sometimes it's hard to get in, so we want to do a split open the seam using this hobby knife. And once you have enough space to split open the seam, you just use the spudger to go around the laptop. And uh, I've removed this bottom cover several times, so this one's a little bit easier for me to remove. But uh, it might take several tries just to go around the seam and to open it up. So this time the cover just comes right off. So once we remove the cover, the first thing that we can remove is the battery inside. To do that, there's only one connector on the battery and there's two screws that need to be removed. Uh, one is here and then the second one is the second one is right here. So one here and the second one here. So we remove the connector and lift up the battery. The battery part number is AP13J4K. This particular battery model works both for the C720 and C740. So if we only need to change the battery, stop the video right here and we're done. So we have removed the battery. Uh, we do have these batteries in stock at Screen Surgeons and to buy them go to our website and either go to the to the link on the top that says schools or there's also a form for you to fill out on the front page also. Okay so next in order to get to the keyboard assembly we have to remove the motherboard next. So to do that, make sure you're in a properly grounded environment. Either uh, touch, um, either touch a metal part, or not wear shoes, or just have a grounding strap on you, or grounding mat, or anti-static map. So there's um, a total of one, two, three, and so far I only see three screws. So we're going to remove these three screws first one and we put these screws in a pile and one two and three so we put the screws out next there's the Wi-Fi connection to cables we snap off the Wi-Fi connection cables and then there's the video cable that connects to the screen. We pull out the video cable. Uh, 
Okay. And this is taking a little bit more time than usual. And the reason is there's some adhesive tape here. So we remove the adhesive tape and the video cable comes out easily. So next time, remove the adhesive tape and then the cable comes out easily. There's another cable here and that's for the capacitor or that's the vibrator. We lift that up. Finally, there's the speaker cable. So we wanna lift that up and slowly pull out the speaker cable. Okay, next we have the 16 gigabyte memory card. We want to remove the screw for the memory card and we remove the memory card so that the motherboard extracts easier. And the fan and the heat sink also have its own screw. We remove that and gently start lifting up the motherboard. And when we do that, we see we have one more screw here. Lift that up and disconnect the keyboard connectors. We lift the bars up one and two and remove the keyboard connectors so actually there's quite a few stuff so if the motherboard's not moving just check what else is needs to be lifted up and when we do this we start working the motherboard up and see if anything else is getting in the way And we see that the fan cable, or the fan, has its own screw here. We remove that. And once we do that, the motherboard starts to lift up. So once we free the cables, the motherboard lifts up. And there's one more connector here. We remove this connector, like so, and the motherboard is out. So this is how you remove the motherboard. So it took a few steps longer than I thought, but the motherboard is free right now. So next, we just have the keyboard assembly and the screen assembly. We need to separate the screen assembly from the keyboard assembly, and you do that by removing the screws from the bottom of the hinge. So there's one and two and one and two okay so we again put these in a separate pile so we separate the screen assembly from the keyboard assembly. There's some a Wi-Fi cable we have to unroute and we put the screen assembly on the side. So now we have the keyboard assembly separated. Okay, so if you order a replacement keyboard assembly, it'll look like something like this. So there's speakers, you'll need to transfer the speakers in a couple of the circuit boards, this USB board here and uh, this board down here and then once you do that you can start reassembling the laptop okay for the keyboard assembly there's uh, some there is a difference between the c720 and the 740 models the c720 models has a model has a square chip on the tracker pad on the bottom and the c740 model has a rectangular chip on the tracker pad on the model. 
So uh, the C720, this this keyboard, we only work with the C720 models. However, if you get the keyboard assembly for the C740 with the rectangular chip, it will work for both the C720 and the C740. This is the one we have in stock. Once again, to buy this part from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com and click on schools. Okay, so once you know what your part number is and get the right keyboard assembly, transfer all the parts from the keyboard assembly. Put, put the motherboard back in. Reconnect all the connectors as shown you. Reconnect the screen assembly. Screw in all the screws. Put the battery back in, screw in the screws for the battery, reconnect the battery, and snap the bottom cover back on. Okay, Okay. Uh, one thing that I think I didn't do quite right is this connector. It pulls out, so what I did is I believe I pulled out the cables instead of the connector. So it does come out, so what you can do is there's some plastic tabs on the sides and you just use your hobby knife and a fingernail just to pull this connector out. Uh, if you do happen to pull the pins out of the connector, uh, their pins are relatively easy to reconnect and that's what I'll do after the video. But uh, just so you know next time you can pull this connector out. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.